Welcome guys, welcome to Top Wisdom. Thank you for joining us for today's lesson. Today's lesson is Business Studies, Grade 12, Chapter 15, Presentation and Data Response. So, I could say this is one of the easiest lessons on Business Studies. So guys, stay in phase, stay focused, and make sure you listen carefully. I'm going to explain this bit by bit. And it's not very hard. So, without wasting any time, let's get back to it. And remember, education is the key to success, as Nelson Mandela said. So, let's begin. We're going to start by terms and definitions. We're going to define these following terms. Presentation, data response, feedback, and non-verbal presentation, visual aids, and tables, and graphs, diagrams, flip chart, handouts. So let's start. Presentations. The act of communicating information or data to an audience. Data response. Interpretation and analysis of information provided. Feedback. Information about presentation by an audience which is used as a basis for improvement. Nonverbal presentation. Presentation of information to an audience without using spoken words. Visual aid. Refers to chats. As you know, visual aid is visual. It's something you can see. Refers to chats. Pictures, images that help to clarify a point. Tables. Um... You know tables. A set of facts, especially in columns. It is especially in columns. Most of the time they use columns as tables. Graphs. Two-dimensional drawing showing a relationship between two set of variables by means of a line. Diagrams. A drawing showing the appearance of data in schematic representation. Flip chart. A large pad. Of paper bound so that each paper can be turned over at the top of reverse reveal the next page like a book you can turn over easily hand handouts printed information provided to the audience to accompany presentation so this is it this is it we are going to start with number one which is presentation so 1.1 factors to be considered when preparing for presentation so we're going to start by before presentation okay okay guys i'm going to tell you what do you need before the presentation which is inside your notes i'm sure by now you have those business studies notes i'm sure you have them so i'm going to explain what do you need which will be easier you need you before the presentation you have to have clear purpose or intentions and main points of the presentation you have to have that fully conversant with the content objectives of the presentation you must know the content of the presentation you cannot present while you don't know the content Main aims captured in the introduction, opening statement of the presentation. So, whenever you are doing a presentation, you must explain the main aim of the presentation. You just do, you don't go up front and do the presentation, and you don't explain the main aim of the presentation. People will get bored and they won't listen to you. Prepare a rough draft of the presentation with a logical structure. A rough draft. So whenever you prepare a rough draft, you are doing for those who don't understand. For example, let's say I'm doing a presentation. Some of them don't are not really perfect in English. So when I do a rough draft, they will have an understanding of the presentation. So these are factors you should consider before the presentation. Now we are going to factors that you must consider while presenting. This is during the presentation. During the presentation. Establish credibility by introducing yourself as the presenter at the start. Okay. Whenever you are doing a presentation, you should introduce yourself first. 
introduce yourself say for example i come and i say my name is Wedi de Sajuayu and i'm about to represent why you shouldn't smoke drugs it's simple it's easy and it's simple i've represented myself now they know me when they ask question they could just call out my name and say mr Sajuayu, can i ask a question it's going to be easy so you should introduce yourself Mention show most important in information first. Most important information comes first. It comes first. If you start with the information that is not important, people will not listen to you. <laughs> Make the purpose or main points of the presentation clear at the start of the presentation. It's basically similar to the second one you just make the purpose clear and understandable to the people you are presenting to use suitable section titles headings subheadings bullets use suitable section titles well you have to use titles so that we can see the main point of what we are talking about in this presentation. Imagine reading a novel without titles. How would you understand that novel? You won't understand it. Yeah. So you have to use titles. 1.3 Responding to questions in non-aggressive and professional manner. Handling feedback after a presentation. Feedback after a presentation. So, you are responding to question in a non-aggressive and professional manner. This is 1.3. The presenter should stand throughout the feedback session. You should be able to listen to other people's opinions, which is feedback. The presenter should first listen, then respond. It is easy to talk to someone who listens and responds after. So, when you listen people will be more likely to feel free to ask questions because you are listening so always listen then you respond after that will make the presentation to be more interesting be polite confident continuous when responding to questions be polite if you are being polite People will feel free. I'm sure you know this by now. If you are being polite, people will be more likely will be more likely to talk to you because they see with that they see that you are a good person. But if you are being arrogant or or unkind, people will, will be more likely to be scared of you and not really participate on the presentation. And sure that each question is clearly understood before responding questions before responding questions if uncertain so you must ensure that questions is more understood some of the people ask questions that are not understandable that are clearly out of the content so the question should be clear and should be based on the content of the presentation Keep answers short and to the point. Another one is to keep answers short to the point. Keep answers short at all costs so that you wouldn't waste any time. 1.4. Areas of improvement in the next presentation. This is 1.4. Areas of improvement in the next presentation. The presenter should revise objectives that were not achieved. You should revise objectives that were not achieved. Use humor appropriately. Use humor appropriately. Always be prepared to update. Keep keep the information relevant. Keep the information relevant. Reflect on problem or criticisms and avoid it in the future presentation. Whenever you have a problem, you should find a way to solve the problem. You should not ignore the problem. So you should reflect on problem or criticism. 
Reflect on time length of the presentation to add and remove content. Well, do not put on the content that is not really useful in the presentation. Put the most important to the least important, not the useless ones, so that you could save time for both parties, for yourself and for the people you are presenting to. We are going to the second one, data response. Data response. 2.1 aspects to be considered when designing a multimedia presentation. So you, you need these following aspects. Some of the learners know these aspects. So I'm going to say them, you need these following aspects. Start with the text or headings. Whenever you're reading a book, there's always a heading so that you can know what this book is about so that you can have a clue. And in each and every chapter, you can see, for example, you could say chapter one, what, 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 what. That simply means chapter one is going to talk about this. For example, chapter one, how to make money. That simply means in chapter one, we're going to talk about how to make money. So the headings make the book to be interesting. So headings are important in a presentation too because they make the, impres the presentation to be interesting. Use legible font and font size. So, whenever you write a text, it should be visible to someone who's sitting at the back so that everybody could see what is written. So, use the legible font. Select the background. The background is very important too. You must select at least a background that is going to be to make the presentation to be more interesting that is related to the content you cannot just select any background imagine selecting a background where there are donkeys or cows behind so you have to select a background which is which is clashed with the content which is based on the content create graphics keep slides and images and graphs simple so you keep it things simple. So there are other factors. There are others. Like use bright color use bright colors to increase visibility. Make sure there are no grammatical spelling errors. Use pictures to make it interesting for audience. Add special effects, structure information in a logical sequence, choose images that may help to communicate the message. Those are the other factors. Examples of nonverbal presentation methods. Examples of nonverbal presentation methods. This is it. I'm going to say the examples of nonverbal presentation methods. Tables, diagrams, flip chats, handouts, slideshows, written or, or business reports illustration pictures photographs scenario scenarios graphs bar graphs line graph histori histograph pie graph so i've said more than five by now because you only need four i've said more than five 2.3 visual aid the following visual aid will be covered so these are the visual aid i'm going to cover the advantages and the the advantages of them and disadvantages so these are the visual aids that i'm going to cover powerpoint which is our data project but i'm going to use the one which is powerpoint overhead projectors handouts video conferencing skype you know skype flip chat interactive whiteboard that you use at school or smart boards I already explained what are flip charts. Posters, posters that you you see when someone is organizing an event, he uses posters to spread the event, to spread when the event will happen. 2.3.1, impact of PowerPoint, advantages. So, going to say the advantages now of the PowerPoint. Graphic programs have have the capacity to convey ideas and support what the presenter says. So whenever you're doing 
a presentation and you have a PowerPoint, the graphic programs will support the conversation. Because people, even though they don't have an idea of what you are talking about, they will have an idea because they are seeing, they are going to see it on the PowerPoint or data project. So it is supportive when you have the PowerPoint. Easy to combine with sound and video clips. So a PowerPoint could be easy to combine with sound and video clips, which you know that video clips are also important in the presentation. There could be a short video clip that is related to your content so that pe you could Im encourage people to participate more because it is easier to watch a video than to watch someone talk talk something you don't even understand. A video clip can make things easier for you to understand. Simple, less cluttered slides may capture the interest of the audience. Video clips can provide variety and capture the attention of the audience. As I've said, video clips can encourage audience to participate more. They capture the audience. They capture the attention of the audience. They capture the attention of the audience. They are very important too whenever you're doing a presentation. So we're going to disadvantages of the PowerPoint. Less effective to people with visual impairments. Unable to show slides without electricity. That simply means when there is load shading, like in South Africa currently, when there is load shading, we could have a problem. May lead to irritation and may result in audience losing interest. Some of the people are not really interested in video clips, so sometimes it irritates them to the point that they lose interest. Simply reading off the slides makes the presentation boring and meaningless. Simply reading off the slides makes the presentation boring and meaningless. So, other people prefer things to be explained than to be read. They don't want they, they don't want you to read something aloud that is in the board that they can see. They want you to explain on your own terms. So, that is part of the presentation. It could be boring when you're using a PowerPoint because you're reading something that all of all of people can see. Everybody can see that, and you're reading it. So yeah, impact of over projectors, which are transparencies, if you can read. But I'm going to use over projectors, overhead project, overhead projectors. By the way, overhead projectors on full terms, positives and advantages or advantages. OHP transparencies can be used to reflect color images. It can be used to reflect color images. This it can be prepared manually or electronically on computer. It can be prepared manually or electronically on computer. It may be effective and useful reminder to the presenter of all points to be covered. Summaries processes may be explained easily on transparencies. So summaries can be explained easily on transparencies. So we're going to say the disadvantages. Not easy to combine with sound and audio. So the, the disadvantage of the overhead projector. It is not easy to combine with sound and audio like the PowerPoint. It can be easily replaced by a PowerPoint presentation. Used most effectively when lights are dimmed, switched off, which may which make it difficult for audience to make their own notes. So this can be used when easily when when lights are switched off. So it will make dif things difficult for audience to write down the notes because it is dark in the room. You can't write when it's dark. How would you see the paper? So, it's it. Transparencies that are not well ordered, organized, may convey an unprofessional image. Impacts of handouts and flyers. I'm going to say the advantages. The advantages of handouts. 
Meaningful handouts may be handed out at the start of the presentation to attract attention. So, handouts attract attention. I can come now at your class with with papers and hand out hand out papers to everybody. I will I will be able to grab attention of everyone in the class. It attracts attention because everybody is now asking themselves what's inside that paper? What is written in that paper? So it attracts attention. Notes or hard copies of the slide presentation can be distributed at the end of the presentation as a reminder of the key facts of the presentation. This is also effective because it makes things easier for for the audience. They don't need to write notes because you already written notes for them on the on the handout. It is easy to update handouts with recent information and development. Notes may be compared with electronic slides to validate the accuracy. So now we are going to the disadvantages. Handing out material at the start of the presentation may be distract, may distract, lose audience attention. This may lose audience attention, as you can see, as it is only summarizes key information. Some details might be lost. Printed material is expensive and it is easy to lose hard copies. Hard copies are much more easier than soft copies, which you can put on phone. So hard copies, you can lose them easy. That's why most of the learners currently are studying with laptops. Because they won't, they won't be able to lose test books than taking out five test books at your home. It's better to keep a laptop at your home, which has the old information. It will be easy. Increases, risk, increases the risk of unauthorized duplication. Use of confidential information. Impact of video conferencing, which is Skype. Advantages. Advantages of the Skype video conferencing. Can be used for international meetings. You guys know Skype. We have seen it on TV. You can use it internationally. It's almost like a video, video call, but you can use it internationally. People can see and hear each other during, the com during their communication. There is no need to spend time and money traveling to meetings. You can just make a meeting or arrange a meeting online, which will save a lot of money. Documents can be viewed on the screen at the same time. So I can just put on the document on the screen as you know how technology works. Can be used when the presenter wants to refer to documents such as graphs, relationships, diagrams and process steps. Disadvantages. Disadvantages of this video conferencing. Takes away from personal aspects of the conversation. It makes it may be difficult to get in everyone at the same time when scheduling, scheduling a session. Some of the people are always late, so this could be the, one of the effects because we can start the, the, the video conferencing, then someone is late or is preparing snacks somewhere. That's why he's late. The environment may, be, may limit people to retain information effectively. People who use this equipment must be properly trained on how to use the equipment. You must know how to use a laptop when preparing a video conferencing. You must know how to do it. Impact of flip chats. We are going to the flip chats now. Advantages. Mainly used for a small audience to note down short notes. Very effective in brainstorming sessions as suggestions are summarized or listed. In a sales pitch, it may be useful during the feedback session to summarize the main facts. So I just said three, then we are going to disadvantages. There may be enough time during the presentation to make written notes, so some ideas may not be listed. Handwriting may be illegible. It may not always be possible to prepare a flip chart before the presentation, so it can ca become cluttered. Impact of interactive whiteboard advantages. 
Now we're going to the whiteboard or smart board, the one you use at schools. Easy to combine with sound. It is easy to combine with sound. You can combine with sound easily. Useful to capture feedback and new ideas. Can be controlled by the touch of the finger so the presenter can move away from the computer during the presentation. When using a smart board or whiteboard, it is easier because you can control it with a finger. It is, it is just easy. It's like using a cell phone. Special pens allow the presenter to write on the board while prepared, prepared images are displayed. Special pens. This comes with a whiteboard or smart board. You can write while presenting so that people will have or could not lose, could not get lost while in the presentation. Disadvantages can only be used by the presenter who knows the unique features of the interactive whiteboard or smart board and uses it to its full potential. Can be connected to any computer, especially licensed software in needed to be able to use it. Cannot be connected to any computer as a special software license is needed to be able to use it. So license is needed. Technical challenges may rem render it ineffective. Loss of signal while using it. Like when you are using something and you are using a smart board and you're connected to the internet and suddenly the Wi-Fi turns off the, or the Wi-Fi is out of that. Impact of posters, signs, banners. So I'm going to use I'm going to say posters impact of posters advantage is useful in promoting the logo vision of the business whenever you're doing a poster most of the posters posters involve a logo so it could promote a logo so that people will know the logo of your business it should be colorful to support the core message of the presentation can make impact when placed strategically in outside the vein may contain large illustrations of the products to emphasize details. Now we come to disadvantages. May not always be useful in a small venue or audience as it can create a crowded atmosphere. May overpower or draw attention away from the presentation it is too big not placed correctly. Only focused on visual aspect as it can it cannot always be combined with sound. It cannot always be combined with sound. A poster cannot be combined with sound. May over I'm gonna say this again, it may overpower or draw attention away, which will disturb the the, the presentation. People will miss key points. So this is all you need to know about the presentation and data response, which is chapter 15 of business studies. So if you want to know another chapters are inside, are inside the channel, you can go check it, check it out like human resource and, and in human and inclusivity, all the business studies chapters for grade 12 are in. So make sure you subscribe and like the video and share the video to other people who might need to listen to this.